everyone, welcome back to my latest trapping video. Today we'll be showcasing some 2000 IQ traps. So I am on my alt currently, so I am not in fury. I'm not in no, no uh, worry about getting rallied or anything like that. This is my alt. This is the bait. So basically I just give my alt the, the leader. So it's kind of like the 1000 IQ trap, which is where I walk the leader across the map. But this one where I can actually get people to scout me and attack me. Uh, this guy decided to go in for a, a second attack there. He actually recalled his 250. I guess he didn't think it was enough. So he popped the boost. Went uh, 375,000. Um, he released my leader. So now my leader is walking back to my actual trap. So um, this is all part of the plan. I want them to burn my alt. Um, it's a totally empty uh, account. Uh, the only time this doesn't really work is against LH because they will set like a double rally on my alt, even though it's only 100 mil and it's completely empty. They won't even go for a tester. They'll just port next to me and set a double rally on me. Uh, that happened once. And then what happened after that was my leader walked back and they uh, set another rally on my on my main account it was just it i don't know lh is really weird don't go try and trap lh they will not hit you whatsoever again they'll send a double rally on 100 mil might before they solo attack anybody so lh totally don't worry about them never go to the kingdom it's a waste of time i've i've done that a couple times and i'm like every time i go i'm like what am i doing why, why do i keep going there um anyways so uh, my leader is walking back there is two people or poor next to me so i'm not sure what was going on here i was like i'm getting ready for the gangbang um and third person is coming now so three people are looking for my leader so i'm gonna post it uh usually in the clan chat here just to uh uh, basically tell people what's going on sometimes but this time actually I don't um, I was just looking at the guy's uh, leader or what his gear was because if the guy is like a mythic champ I have to get rated shield I cannot take a uh, really really good person's attack without my leader this guy's going in for the cab blast before my leader gets back uh, which is totally fine because he's only setting 250 I'll just switch the cab there switch back to infantry um, keep waiting because at this point I did not have the uh, three uh, front lines I still had the uh, double front line uh, tier Tier two front lines with the uh, tier one back line. Um, so this was before I switched my tier three uh, solo trap uh, account, but this was just me testing out and see if it would work because once the tier five thing came out, I was like, can I just upgrade my current comp and make it well enough to cap these tier five guys, which I found out I could, but I was taking too many losses from the tier one uh, just because the tier five familiars would hit them and then I, they just didn't fill my firmaries. But obviously people like this, it was really easy. So my current comp right there is three point, uh, basically 3.6 mil of each tier two um, cav and infantry. And then I had the range of the back line, like almost 9 million range. So um, really big account or a really big comp. But again, the tier five familiars just doing too much damage. So don't build this one, but it does work, by the way. It does work for capping people. It's just, you just take too much damage from the tier five familiars and they fill your infirmaries and then a gang bang, you start losing too many troops because of that. So uh, my leader is back now. I wasn't expecting anyone to go in for the hit after I'd already capped someone. So I was just like, okay, like that's the problem sometimes when people go in too soon is they kind of ruin the whole trap. But I mean, I end up getting a leader, so it's not too bad, but um, they ended up, yeah. So I'm not sure why I didn't post him earlier. I should have posted him way earlier when he lost his leader, but because uh, he would have been in Fury there. But sometimes they don't want to rally someone who's too big because um, these guys can still cap people if you're like, 700 mil you can still cap people leaderless so sometimes it's not smart to try and uh, rally them online but um, they are coming in for the rescue rally now probably um, that's what usually happens after this you cap the guy's leader they're coming for the rescue rally um, you have a couple options here you either shield or uh, you migrate and if it's a small guy like this I'll usually just uh, shield and go try and trap someone else it's better to do that because you don't want to waste your time just like wasting people's carpets and then your internet fails and all of a sudden you take a full rally and then you're zeroed and it's it's not worth it honestly just for a couple carpets uh kdm is also coming in here there might be a double rally being set here um they might be uh what's called uh allies so sometimes this happens it's like okay i got the leader i was wondering if they're gonna go in for the gangbang though because they hadn't set the rally yet so i always have that hope like oh maybe they'll go in for the gangbang i'll take some food out just in case um again this was before you could actually just heal with the thing uh that option that new option where you it's like the auto heal thing that uses the resources for you. So you actually had to take resources out. I mean, it's still smart to take resources out in a gangbang just so you can gem heal. It's, it's faster that way, but um, you don't have, you don't obviously don't have to anymore. So I'm going to the thousand IQ trap again. So uh, that was the 
2,000 IQ trap. This is the regular 1,000 IQ trap. So this is just me walking my leader back. Uh, this AOV Glenn guy decided to port next to me. Um, he's going to basically see if I have if anything. Because a lot of times you get like random attacks like this one. It's just 200,000 like 200, tier 2. They'll hit you. Um, and then sometimes they'll go in for the follow-up attack. Uh, just just because the first attack didn't work. Because sometimes they still don't think you have very much. Sometimes they might have thought they're... Uh, there are what's called attack just failed to your wall or um, let's say you have 500,000 troops and it just wasn't enough, especially if you don't send lead, like heroes because a lot of these guys um, will send these like uh, test or not tester these farming attacks, but they won't send heroes with it. So they literally do nothing. Um, I did drop a little bit of might there. He, he injured like what was like 600 troops or something. So it's like you drop might, but that could have been just like wall traps. Uh, a lot of times you'll think that with that small mic drop, like, oh, I just injured some of his traps on his wall. I'll go in for a real attack. They'll go in for the real attack after that. Uh, once they go into the real attack, they lose their leader, all that. But this guy didn't, so I just cut it out there. Uh, this is also another 2000 IQ trap. Um, usually I don't keep my castle so close to the other castle. Um, I was actually trying to pour out, like, go on here and see if I can get onto my other account because it, um, and see what they're sending just so I can have, like, it, like, have a realization of how many troops they're sending and stuff like that. Sometimes it helps. Um, sometimes they'll send their familiars with their attack, their tester attack too. So I'll know what kind of familiars they have. It's a great way to figure out what the guy ha has before they hit you. Cause sometimes you don't know if they are tier five familiars, how strong they are, what their gear is, what they're planning on sending, what their main blast is. And it really does help you with that information. Um, if they're going to go and hit you right after that. So this guy's going in, but he's just going to send a, a tier three March here. Yeah. So tier three uh, range. So going to give me some good points for KVK because this was during KVK. Um, I don't think I got much during KVK on this one because I think we were, yeah, we're against uh, Kingdom 60, which wasn't very big. There's just some small people in this kingdom, so wasn't very much fun because again if you're if you're in a big kingdom before kvk and you get matched with a small kingdom if you're a trap you're basically just like oh i guess i just won't get any points because every single person in the other kingdom doesn't want to unshield now because my kingdom is totally destroying them and that's what was happening during this kvk actually i think i made a rally video on this kvk so this guy who hit me here he does end up getting rallied by our guild because he goes in the fury all the time so um our guild does end up rallying him later on but i, I did another video about the rally but i can't remember when that was so I, i've already done that video that was done and then i was just doing this as the trapping part because this was how we found him because he actually took my uh alts leader so now i have a tracker on him because this i sometimes do that i'll give uh like these small guys my alts leader just so i can keep track of them and see when they're in fury just so my guild can come in and hit them afterwards so it's, it's a good way to keep a track track of them without actually having a rally tracker that way that they don't realize that you know where they are at all times so um we did end up rallying him that was in a totally different video so um this is the again we're doing the thousand iq trap this time this wasn't the 2000 iq trap like the previous one uh this is just me trying to get some uh, kvk points uh sometimes again i'll get like these kind of hits where it's just like tier two coming towards you but in kvk this is actually an awesome way to get points again uh um, every point counts or every kill counts. So tier two is still a bunch of points you're going to get, uh, especially the four way KVK because those double points are awesome. But like, it doesn't matter what they hit you with. You're getting tons and tons of KVK points. But again, this is a good way to get uh, tester marches and stuff because you won't always get full attacks, especially if you're, again, your guild is winning the K or your kingdom's totally destroying the other kingdom. It's really hard to get people to unshield. So uh, any of these or any points count at this point. I was just barely, I was just trying to scrape by and get some points because again the other kingdom was having a hard time and this guy's actually next to me again he still has my alts leader we haven't actually rallied him at this point i think i had trapped him and then i literally did this right after that and then he parted next to me again like he i changed my name i think i'm still in the same guild and he still decided to go try and port next to me so he ended up not trying to hit me but i don't know why he was doing that but anyways so this guy also saw me leader back come back it's the exact same one he saw it come back he saw that no one actually hit me so he decided to go in um that's fighting puto he's uh one of our uh guild mates or not guild mates family guild uh, mates so he's not going to hit me don't worry about that but that guy went in uh tier four um again it was our kingdom i get a lot of hits up by our kingdom in this one too uh but yeah so he sent uh full range no fodder so 
Um, I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of a clip on why that's a bad idea. I know I always say that some people always ask like, what do you mean? No range and no fodder. I'll show you a little clip here after this, of why that's a bad idea and why you shouldn't do that. And what happens when you do that? So I'll look at the actual like battle report and we'll show you why it's a really bad idea to do this because, um, what happens is you basically force the person in an infantry phalanx. Um, you basically, uh, yeah, so right here. So here's what happens. If you send no range, no fodder, the other person's troops run out at your troops and you're still attacking their wall but they're attacking you while you're doing this so if you send some fodder the uh infantry and cab will not run out it will just be the range against range but since he didn't send any fodder in front of his range here uh, my troops are now attacking his range troops while his range troops are actually hitting my wall and doing literally zero damage to me this wasn't the same attack as the previous one this is just an example of what oh actually i put it in the wrong way because uh dbj actually hits me after this so i i put this in the wrong uh, order but it, it's the same thing so someone sends full range no fodder they start attacking my wall and then i totally uh, zero their whole uh, march before they even get to my wall so this guy's coming in for the attack he's just this is the attack actually um i, I put it ahead of time but uh he was he sent a uh, full tier three range there um again no fodder in front of that so it's going to do very little damage um if i was an empty castle obviously it wouldn't matter they just destroy my wall and then basically get my leader as it's coming or coming back i did kind of cut that out of the video i did do the thousand iq trap that's why they're part next to me sending these random attacks at me um, I, I, walk, I walk my leader back I do not heal so that's another th important thing to do at, in this situation if they're hitting you don't heal unless you have to um, if you feel comfortable not healing don't heal um, it's funny one of my guild knights was actually right beside me while this was happening so he was posting me in the uh, chat there um, just saying what's going on um, sometimes I don't look at the chat while I'm doing this so sometimes I don't re reply back which I should because then they'll know what's going on and they don't like reinforce me and ruin the trap so he's going in for tier four tier two i'm just going to switch my phalanx don't need to switch my gear uh, this is not an attack where you need to switch your gear for anything 250,000. you usually don't need to switch your gear um if you was sending like tier five 375 i probably would depending on what here's his gear is too um this this other guy next to me this crazy fish guy He's a little bit bigger, so I'd probably switch my gear for him if he sent tier 5. Uh, the other guy, maybe not so much because he doesn't look as strong, but uh, Crazy Fish kind of looks like a rally lead. Actually, this guy's big too, actually. They're both big. I don't, or never mind what I'm saying. I might switch my gear if they're sending a real attack, uh, but in this situation, I don't need to because that way I don't have to give away that I'm, I'm online, won't heal at all. Uh, any damage they do, I'll just keep in my infirmaries i do have about six hundred thousand infirmaries so i don't have to worry about it again unless like a titan ports next to me and i really need that infirmary space because one attack's not gonna do much so crazy fish went in but he just went in with a familiar um just based probably just to see if i have any troops in me or what's going on because i'm not healing they're not doing very much damage with their tester t marches they're not walking back so they're like does he even have troops or are we just hitting a, a really big wall at this point uh do we need to go leader in march so that's kind of probably what they're thinking at this point because they do hit me again but the funny thing is i'm cutting out a lot but they, there was like three or four minutes in between each of these attacks too so the other guy uh poured away um after he lost his leader there so he attacked me i got my recorder on right as he was hitting me so he sent range or not range infantry and i was just sitting in infantry i believe yeah so he just did a little bit of damage um not too bad um he has okay gear he wasn't like crazy or anything i'm just gonna post um that i got him but some of them were actually still watching at this point um the other guy crazy fish he ends up porting away uh which is weird um i was expecting a rally right after that again they were taking so long between attacks yeah this guy i didn't really need to switch my gear for that um it was not good enough gear for me to bother with that especially with this comp with the 16 million troops it was quite a strong comp um as long as there's no tier five and they don't have like full mythic gear with like a 900 percent blast i'm pretty okay without my leader so they had poured away so i'm just kind of looking at here just seeing what was going on taking a look at his uh gear and all that just seeing how much damage he did 192,000. not crazy again i am not in my uh, war gear i think i was sitting in my uh research gear at this point uh, but yeah so um yeah you can see that he lost a bunch of tier four and tier two in there um he tried the kind of what's called um 
not what did he do? He tried to shield his tier four with his tier two. It didn't work out. He didn't send enough tier two to do that, so he ended up losing more. But again, he didn't probably didn't want to weaken his attack either. So, uh, but yeah. So I'm like, he poured it next to me again. So he poured it away. He came back. So I'm like, oh, he must be rallying me now. He's in his cab gear. He must be setting a cab rally. I'm not going to take this rally. It probably it's going to be too much for this build to take a rally from someone like that. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'll get ready the shield and all that for the rally because again. I don't really mess around with rallies. I don't try and waste carpets. It's it's just not something I try anymore, especially after that one time where my phone lagged and I ended up taking a Mythic Champs uh, rally by accident. Uh, that happened once, so I don't do that anymore. And anyways, he decided to go in for a range attack, so that's perfect because I'm sitting in a range Phalanx probably. Um, again, um, I didn't really need to switch gear because um, he wasn't quite strong enough, especially again with this comp is quite strong. So if he's not sending tier five, I'm not in a big, big trouble. So he did send Vod with his range so he didn't do nothing he did 191,000 um about as much as the infantry guy did almost exactly the same as what the infantry guy did so the infantry did about exact same as this guy's range so obviously crazy fish has better range but he did get his leader back from that familiar um yeah he, he had a oh he used a huey hops oh um so that that wasn't even that wasn't even the uh what's called uh blackwing or whatever that uh was it blackwing or what's the one that gets your hell dryer hell dryers want to get your leader back randomly but he actually used his huey hops to get his leader back so that's kind of funny so he, he ended up getting his uh his uh, leader back because he bunnied me so um so that's kind of interesting i never I, you don't usually see that sorry <laughs> um usually people don't send uh huey hops against a solo trap that's usually something to do against rally comps but um, I guess he just wanted to hit me and so he could rally me after, which he did. Um, oh, this is during KVK. <laughs> I totally forgot this was during KVK. So I just ended up just not porting away. So I now now I have both the leaders. Uh, no, actually, I only have one of the leaders because he sent uh, Huey Hops, forgot. So I just canceled the rally went back. So I, I'm trying to get them to gangbang me here because um, it is KVK and that's all they could do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do have some more videos coming out this week. I will have a top five coming out really soon. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.